We want to say hello to everybody out there in radio, TV, and internet land. And of course, I'm a, a, a bit more than a little excited today because I have the opportunity to, and I thought I would never do this in my lifetime, but all of a sudden, up pops a guy named Andre McLean, who's a ringmaster, you know, not for a little old local uh, bond, or uh, not for a, a little old local uh, ranch, but he's the ringmaster for Ringling Brothers Circus, which is one of the largest entertainment circus type venues in the whole country. So I'm just so happy that they are coming to Macon, Georgia to appear you know, at the Macon Centriplex and give us the opportunity to uh, really have a hands-on uh, viewing of the circus. And last time I checked, uh, he's African-American, and so that <laughs> makes it even more <laughs> dynamic and reasonable. So I'm just so happy to have Mr. Andre McLean, who has a very interesting history, who is the ringmaster for uh, Ringling Brothers Circus that's going to be here this weekend, but first of all, how you doing? Beautiful, how are you? I'm outstanding, you know, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks for coming to time. I want to give a shout out to, to Jillian and Hannah, you know, who have worked with us to try to expose this to the community. So first, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, in a nutshell, I went from the greatest show on dirt to the greatest show on earth. <laughs> I, <laughs> I grew with the promoting and a, and a um, rodeo background. So um, I've been riding horses all my life. I started riding horses about around three years old, maybe younger than that, but since I can remember. And I started riding um, steers and rodeos, uh, mud and busting, what they call it back then. And I rode bulls for 10 years, bugging horses for eight years. And then basically I joined the greatest show on earth. I had a one-man cowboy show where I taught myself how to trick rope, um, kind of like Will Rogers and wow. um, train trick horses. And um, I had a one-man cowboy show. Wow, wow. Well, that's very, very interesting. So did you begin, I mean, how long have you been ringmaster, and what does that involve? You know, I've been ringmaster. This is my third year as the ringmaster of The Greatest Show on Earth. I um, started off as the pre-show host and an animal trainer. So when I first, actually, let's go back before then. Okay. Before then, when I first joined Ringling, I wanted to add still walking to my repertoire of my one-man cowboy show. So what better way than still the circus? Walking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so I wanted to learn how to walk on these little pegs, little oh, sticks. Still, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And so, and so, um, I went from learning three foot stilts to learning twelve foot stilts. Wow. And so, um, I learned that at Ringling. And so, um, I came thirteen years ago. I had never seen a circus in my life until I came to try to research this. And when I came, came, and I met the talent scouts. I met the general manager. And I showed them what I did, and so they took it even further. So I joined Ringling as um, uh, part of the barn. I ran uh, their exotic tent. So I was one of the Boston exotic tent. And so I went from there to preach the host, to training animals for, with the greatest show on earth, to being the ringmaster. So I was kind of built. This show is called Built to Amaze. Right. So I feel like I was built to be the ringmaster. Right, right. I feel like all these years they trained me in, and without telling me to be the ringmaster. Right, the show. Right. Yeah, I noticed that they called you in one day and they gave you a promotion exactly. and a check. Exactly. <laughs> that check clears the bank. <laughs> which is which is very important. Well, obviously, uh, I think it's very, very unique and noteworthy that you're an African-American and you're kind of in a unique field. So talk about African-Americans in rodeos, and I know that you were part of a rodeo and even part of the circus, because I understand that you've got another act that's part of the circus that's, that's all African-American. So, And I think it's important. And I think it bespeaks of that, that, particularly to the young people out there, that you can do anything that you want to do and that you can be anything that you want to be and you can go as high as you want to go. You can learn anything that you want to learn as long as you're dedicated and committed. But I want to say very quickly, and then you could tell us about mm -hmm. the other acts in the show. He started young. As soon as, as, as long as he can remember, you know, he's been a part of this process, which resulted in him being internationally known and making all this money. And he's a young man, you know, and I think because of his drive and his desire 
you know, to succeed and to, to be a part of something that's great that he's been successful. That's a lesson to you. And my part to you, take it from Papa Shan, <laughs> you know, start now and go ahead and, 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 and develop your dream and work hard on your dream and then your dream can become reality. So tell us about the show and its elements. Oh yeah, it's 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 this show's a, this show's a really great. It's an awesome show this year. I mean, it's called Built to Amaze. A lot of people say, you know, I've seen Ringling, I've seen a circus. You haven't seen a circus like this. Okay. Um, I mean, it's amazing from beginning to end. I mean, we have the legendary King Charles troupe. It's they were the first black touring troupe with Ringling Brothers and Bonavelli back in the 1960s. Wow. And 